Investigation is underway right now in Yuba County after an off-duty sheriff's deputy shot and killed an intruder in his home. It happened last night in Challenge, which is an area that does not have power. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is there tonight with the very latest. Last night, an intruder picked the home here of a tenured Yuba County Sheriff's deputy who we're told has a big family and lives here. Neighbors say the house was dark, the street still without power, and when someone was trying to break in, the sheriff's deputy wasn't afraid to use his gun. The generators are running in challenge and have been for days. We've had power since uh, early Wednesday morning. And neighbors say an intruder picked the wrong house to break into late Thursday night. That was probably uh, one of the reasons why the, the intruder was in the area. Uh, he probably turned his power off at 11 or so. Neighbors say the off-duty sheriff's deputy's house was dark when a suspect entered his home. Randy Cook lives next door. His lights were on at the time. You probably thought, well, this one's occupied and this one's not. Turns out that one was. So, and it was a sheriff who knew how to use it then. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office isn't releasing the deputy's name, but says he's a 16-year veteran of the force. The alleged intruder and the deputy didn't know each other. His wife and children were sleeping upstairs. I don't want to say he's doing good uh, based on the circumstances, but he's doing as well as can be expected. Sheriff Wendell Johnson says the deputy used his service weapon to shoot and kill the suspect, but he did call 911 first. We spoke with the deputy off camera, who says he's shaken up and was scared for his family. Neighbors say intruders here are rare. Hopefully it won't happen anymore. I mean, uh, yeah, it is, it is kind of worrisome. Sheriff's deputies responded to the home after the shooting and they pronounced the alleged intruder dead at the scene. That intruder's identity has not yet been released.